Chetching. Oh, fuck. Chechnia. Uh, mm, fuck, dude. Uh, oh, my God. I didn't get to... I went to bed at... at I'll yeah, we, uh, we, already ta- we, already, at we already talked about that, Patrick. I'm so talking we don't to the fans to, now. No, they so, don't need to know. So, so. Talk, talk to the fans, because no, Patrick's talking. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. That's sort of a talk to the... Talk, talk to the booty because the they're hands off duty kind of thing. Talk to the fans because it's Patrick's turn now. <laughs> so tell us. Tell us about your night. So I went to bed at 8. Uh, I woke up and then stayed up. And I've been up since midnight. And now and it's... Wh- where are you getting these lattes from? You you claim to be on your fourth latte. Why do you have lattes? It's pre-made. Yeah, you, Who's so you, making them? So you, you went from the... You <laughs> the went guy from in the, the fridge. <laughs> You went from drinking the Monster Energy to drinking those those Starbucks like chocolate <clears throat> yeah. latte glass bottle <laughs> things, right? Yeah, okay. No. That's what I <laughs> No, no, not not those ones. Um so I thought the whole time I thought this was uh creamer and turns out it's just pre made latte and I've been putting it in coffee. Oh. So you've been putting Okay. So you've been creaming your coffee with I latte. was creaming my coffee with latte and uh I realized that it was uh oh. latte. Why did and you think it was creamer? I no, thought I it was it. like yeah, a, no, it comes in like a comes in a bottle. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was like a, a I thought it was like a caramel caramel but it said creamer. latte on it. I didn't he read that. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't read. He, Pat I goes, saw the yeah, package yeah. based off shapes. Everything. <laughs> yeah, is it is shaped. Shape. It is shaped like the creamer bottle, and the so. latte is shaped like cream. Yeah. Um. I. Uh, so you- I had my. I think my favorite customer interaction with a customer at work, uh, so far, the other yeah, day. Yeah, I came in and said hello. A, uh, a guy. A a guy was paying at the register and he was like digging through his pockets for change and he had like a handful of change he was going through and then he said really quietly he he like leaned over and he was like look what i have and i was like oh no <laughs> he was like look at this and he like covered it with his hand so nobody else could see and he showed me <laughs> he had a golden penny <laughs> wow he had the gold coin was yeah, it he pure had the gold? golden coin you should have showed know. him the black I coin i said wow that's really cool and he said yeah and then he put it back in his pocket what he didn't you even showed him the black no he was just like yeah cool. i know yeah he's like yeah of course i know of course, it's, cool. it's a golden, it's a golden penny. penny yeah you yeah. fucking moron can you like imagine though going to just a bunch of stores and just showing people your golden penny while you're paying for stuff i would never show hey, off my that's golden a penny come here come here hey, let's out. look what i would hide my i would hide my golden penny from the world is it one of those ones where it has like jesus in, christ in or case donald trump on it no it looked like it was just like a penny covered in gold like it looked exactly yeah. like a penny but <laughs> it was, it was dripping in gold <laughs> 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 well, it looked like it was like it was like it was it had it had abraham lincoln on it mm-hmm. our golden president our goldenest yeah. president mm-hmm. uh-huh. that's right the golden age of presidents the yeah. golden age of presidents probably uh not when he was president reagan to bush let dude. me tell you yeah Reagan to Bush. It took a long time to get to their golden age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Reagan yeah. to Bush it sounds to me more like the molden age of presidents. Yeah. Oh, the way yeah. I come think on, they dude. Those, like yeah. those were the, at one point, those, uh, they were the highest office in the land, and you're disrespecting mm-hmm. them in that way. That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> they That's did the most coups. Yeah. How many coups have you done, pussy? Actually, wait, then, it, then, then we should probably do Nixon... Nixon to, to Nixon to Bush. You know what? We'll we'll just say the we'll just if say we're going based we'll just say everyone, into, everyone until Obama. Yeah, George yeah. Washington until Obama. We'll just say that. <laughs> That's the golden age of president. <laughs> and then it started again after Obama. <laughs> yeah, no. it's sort of entering a second golden age now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. No, the exact on, opposite is true. There was only one it golden was age. It was the Obama. eight years that what's his name was president. Golden yeah, Obama. Golden Obama from Super Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. You guys remember when you had to fight Golden Obama and the I boss had to level? Yeah, fight Metal, Golden Obama. Metal Obama. Yeah. <laughs> that's scary, actually. Yeah. Um, I yesterday. I I think I'm really like. I think my ability to talk to strangers is just like completely atrophied like i just can't yeah. do it anymore i'm yesterday, better at talking to strangers than i ever was no, i'm way not. worse at it yesterday i am. I, <clears throat> I don't i don't like shut going up anywhere. cameron 
Yesterday I went to a new corner store to get. I got an eight pack of Guinness. A new, a new one. Like a they new just corner put it store. In? It's brand new. They new don't to even you have a or new to yet. the world? New to the entire universe. Oh, okay. I, I went because a I was down new, the street. New bodega. Yeah, okay, it's dropped. not the important. <laughs> it's new. I got an eight pack of Guinness. Okay. Whoa. I put it. What do you, any any? Do you have fifty things to say about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many Guinness? How <laughs> many? Eight, I have eight I pack of eight. what? Which, by the way, insane number of bottles to put in yeah. a pack. I got an eight pack of Guinness. I put it on the Caleb counter. Caleb trying to be eight Irish like now. the number or eight like you ate it. I yeah, yeah I ate <laughs> it's and thick ate, enough. Someone that you had could already eat it. eaten it. The pack of Guinness. <laughs> yeah. I put it on the counter. The guy was like, he's like a younger, like uh, bodega guy, which I'm not used to because it's usually like a like a 50 year old guy, and so he's talking to me and he. But I was like, hey, how are you doing, man? I'm like, uh, mm mm-hmm. And he sees the beer and he goes, how old are you? And then just instinctively I go, "Uh, 21. (laughs) And he was like, you sure? And I was like, "Uh uh-huh. And then he's like, can I see your ID? And I handed it to him and he was like, this says you're 23. (laughs) And I was like, "Oh yeah, you're. I'm. T- yeah, I'm, t- I'm 23. <laughs> you're right. I, you're right. I am 23. I, I forgot how old I was. I wouldn't have accepted it. I would have been. I would have told he him his sh- math he, was wrong. Yeah. He should not have accepted it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He should have thrown that idea in the trash. It's from North Carolina. It's 10 years old. Every time yeah. I go to the airport, the person in TSA gets mad at me because my ID. Yeah, looks dude, like they get it mad was at like me printed too. Printed at a middle school. Yeah, it looks like shit, dude. And they're like, "You gotta." One di- one guy said he was like, oh, "You get this in the dinosaur times at the TSA." <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, which first of all, not a good joke. Second yeah, what? Well, <laughs> fucking back off. Dinosaur times would be a great the restaurant. Dinosaur, what does times. dinosaur times mean? That's not a. That'd be a great yeah. restaurant in, in like the same vein as like medieval times. Yeah. I like gotta, it's like, funny to say okay, what did you get hold this up, hold up. what did you get this in dinosaur times to me like what did you get this like 6 years ago <laughs> I'm I'm still on dinosaur times the restaurant cuz now now I've got a great idea So it's yeah. basic it's basically all the elements of rainforest cafe and medieval times put together and that equals dinosaurs to you and well you so <laughs> it's it looks like rainforest cafe but there's a jousting ring in the middle like medieval times and <laughs> yeah, like when the dinosaurs the guys, were there, and they're they're on velociraptors instead of horses. I'm on velociraptor time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> VPT. We, I'm on. Uh, we should we should start sort of a kind of like a more intelligent, VRG. more intelligent. We should do the brain forest cafe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Where you come in and and immediately they say instead of instead of it's, hey how you doing? It's the library. <laughs> it's the library, but it's but it's rainforest themed. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so you have a you have a toucan, who's uh, toucan librarian. Yeah, yeah. He's not good. He's not good mm-hmm. at all. He's terrible yeah. at being a librarian. But he is a toucan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has a colored and nose. And instead yeah. of food, instead of food, you get chess. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. comes on a plate yeah. or uh, information. You, what if you? What about chessman uh, cookies? What if you get those? No, that's food. I don't know what that means, man. Well, uh, it, it would have to be library themed food, and there's no. It, at the there library. was no food. You can't eat in a library. It's against the what? rules. You can't eat candy in a library with the lights on. I didn't say. I didn't say anything about candy. You just I was said about you like, want have. You want them to serve you food in a library? Yeah, like prime rib. No, no, you can't have prime prib. Go. You would get you would get the prime prib juice. Everywhere. I want them to give me prime rib at the library. Well, you'll have to go you to a different library. Well, you're not coming okay, to Brain Forest Cafe, okay? You better Why get not? the fuck out. God, I'm gonna start my own. I'm gonna start Dinosaur Times by myself. No, and you yeah, guys are gonna, gonna be sorry. That's gonna be your newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dinosaur so? Times. Yeah, because you came from Dinosaur Times. That's so? how old you are, pussy so? bitch. No one's going to read it. It's going to have a people very would, low readership. People would want to read about what's going on with archaeology <laughs> and stuff. It's not about archaeology. It's about the daily lives of dinosaurs. <laughs> hey, yeah. Pat, Pat, what's going on with archaeology right now? Yeah, tell There's us. There's so <laughs> many new bones. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm not even kidding about that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Really, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, is that, so what's, the, what's the latest headline? So, uh, apparently... A stegosaurus or a triceratops was actually just like a baby uh, of a different animal, a different dinosaur. So the okay. triceratops is not an adult; it's just a baby version of something else. So That's it's like terrifying. You. No, so it's like yeah, it's you're, like a you're a baby version, version of, of me. Of a, I'm not a baby. 
You are. You're a baby version of me. Only a no. baby would think that he could start a dinosaur yeah. newspaper. If I was a baby version of you, I would have one hair poking out of the top of my head. And no, you do. No, because, yeah, you do. <laughs> it's no, very thick. That's yeah. why you're wearing a beanie no. right now. To hide it, because yeah. you don't want us to see nah. it. You no. knew we were going to accuse no. you of being a baby. No. Mm-hmm. You'll That's never really own a newspaper, deal. bro. I'll I'm own tell it. You that I'm much. not. I don't even want the newspaper. I want the restaurant. Good, because you're not going to get it. Yeah, you're not going to get it. I want the Dinosaur Times restaurant. And, okay, and what? And what are you going to put on the tables for people to read? I'm going to put the menu on the table for people. Yeah, to there's read. not. They didn't have menus in Dinosaur Times, <coughs> so you can't have a menu. It's a stone menu. To you, I posit this then. question: What language do dinosaurs read on the menu? <laughs> Jurassic. <Idiot. laughs> no. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. That's a movie. Spanish. They read Jurassic. Dinosaurs. Habla español. No, dinosaurs yeah. don't speak Spanish. Yeah, they did. What are you talking they did. about? Spanish. Yeah, they did. No. Yeah, they You're did. So stupid about language. I'm not stupid about language. You're right. I'm not stupid about definitely <laughs> not speak, stupid about speak dinosaur. every language right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bonjour. Hola. You're reading Ni- off of your tote Nihau. bag. <laughs> uh, bienvenidos. That uh, means welcome. I'm I'm saying welcome. No, you were saying hello, uh, and then you switched to welcome. Guten Morgen. Disqualified. That's good morning. That's, good That's morning. different. Guten Tag. Different. Just Guten skip Abend. the Chinese, man. Guten Abend. Uh, gut. <laughs> Shut up. Nicht Nobody. Sehr gut. Nobody wants to hear this. Uh, Cameron told me to do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. It means I have to do it. So since I like when you do you more obey when you drink energy I drinks? I don't like Why? latte, Patrick. Why? Because it kind of looks like you're eating poop. This is a weird color. Yeah, this latte. does. It does look like poop. It's like got it that does. green tint to it. Maybe it's because yeah. you're sitting in front of a green screen. Now that I think about it, it could be that. <laughs> but yeah. maybe the light hmm. is reflecting off the bright green wall behind you. Hmm. But no, I don't think so. Maybe this green poop. poop is green because of the green screen. Yeah. See, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That <laughs> sentence would never come out of Monster Energy Patrick's mouth. It would. No. No. This is the sentence There's... that would come out of Monster Energy's uh, Monster Energy Patrick's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> no, no, it would be this. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I miss when I miss when aspartame was fucking calcifying your brain. Yeah. Turning you. There's into no a... aspartame in Monster Zero. Yeah, there's a we've been there's over some, this. There's something. It's some sweetener. Something and it's worse. It definitely wasn't good for me. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure. I'm Shut sure. Shut up. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, no, I'm really sure. Yeah, no, I'm sure yeah. about that. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. positive gonna, about that. If, I if you had kept drinking Monster Energy in ten years, you'd have like the tongue version of Artie Lang's nose. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be the completely. Teeth. I'd just have like Artie flat. Lang teeth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure his owned. teeth are probably bad too. You look like no, you... he's no, he's got great teeth. <laughs> <Are you like? laughs> yeah, Heroin yeah. is really good for your teeth, actually. especially when you snort it. Yeah, when you snort it, and yeah, it's like it's Daredevil, really good. where he goes blind, but his other senses get better. When mm-hmm. your nose gets fucked up, your teeth get better. Oh, his sense of hearing is probably great now. I'll tell you what's great: his sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, this guy is one of the funniest guys of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just the facts, Jack. <laughs> Maybe I do need to lose some of my senses. Yeah, you know? I think if I w- if all if I was just a just if I was just a voice. What about your eyebrows? What if we just get rid of your eyebrows? That's and not you a lose, sense. That's lose your my sense only of hair. good feature now. <laughs> I have no hair on my body. You should get them like waxed. You should. No. Go you want to? You want to? Imagine this. <laughs> Little thin lines. Imagine this. You Look should get them penciled go, on, dude. Oh my god, dude. That's that what you should so do. Good. That is exactly what you should that do. That is not what I get, should do. Yeah, you, you should, should get, go, get, get micro bladed. You should get like Morticia Adams eyebrows. Yeah, no, here's that what are, I'm like, gonna do. Like trying oh my, my eyebrows like, off. Divine. Like, yeah, all yeah, the way exactly, up to your forehead. dude. Yes. Oh my god. I'll, I'll shave my eyebrows all the way up off, and all the way across his head, all the way to the back of his head, just lines. You guys want me to look like a freak? I'm gonna get him shaved off. No, we want. We want, you to, we want you to look good and stop looking like, like the a freak. Way you look. Yeah, I'm replace him with a script tattoo that says Southern. Mm-hmm. People and like also, that. And then also divine eyebrows that go that'll all go over, over your head. well too. That'll go over very well for you. I know somebody who has a Southern tattooed in their eyebrow. Really? Pretty cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Lauren Southern. Swag. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about yeah. ever. You say we've been over this. You say names. I go. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> Lauren Southern was one of those alt right people. <laughs> oh, she was one of those could like what? those like alt right people from another country who's alt like, right. What does that even mean? Yeah. Do they she, have a website? Yeah. One of those annoying like, oh, I live in another country, but I'm very concerned about American politics. Oh yeah, like Ian. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like Pat Miles dude. Chung. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not concerned about any other. I'm not even concerned about American politics. So oh, your just, Twitter tells a different story, pal. Yeah. You're out there tweeting about the spineless ghouls at the DNC. Mm-hmm. I think you might Those be a little concerned. At the <laughs> DNC. I'm, I'm, these freaking I'm rat a, fucks want yeah, us to these vote rat for rat fucks at the DNC. <laughs> I'm just a I'm truth Patrick. teller. These rat fucks oh. at the DNC hate the gremlins. Sometimes it's like the Democrats. Sometimes it's like the Democrats and the Republicans. <laughs> Patrick. Wait. That's genius. I've never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, you should post that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You really blew my mind there, man. It's like they're two gangs, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, that's real shit. And the hood is our is the is <laughs> the hood the, is the Supreme Court. And the hood is the Supreme Court, real shit. And the hood is Congress. Where I'm from, the hood's the Supreme Court. Wow. Yeah, and and it's like and it's like the third party is and a, the Latin and a, Kings and a <laughs> and a switchblade is a voter's ballot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a gun is a it's a is gun. A, a gun, it's a gun <laughs> again. It's a gun. Yeah, yeah. Because both sides want guns, more guns. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah, my my friends. We gotta my... change. We gotta change the world from the ground up. Give everyone a gun. Yeah. What's what's uh and what's that Black Eyed Peas song? Let's just get that. Let's get that playing under this whole. Let's get retarded. This. No, not let's get retarded. The other one. Oh. Uh, let's get it started. I'm a B. Yeah. Let's get it started. That's the one. <laughs> okay. No. Um. Fucking. Where's the love? <laughs> Oh yeah, back when they were like trying to be the Fugees. Yeah, they were trying to be like yeah. the conscious. Yeah, they were trying to be conscious hip hop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. God, that it's still so funny that they made a song called "Let's Get Retarded." I love all it's of nothing the, like, funny all, about it to me. It's not. It's not. It's, it's kind of offensive, actually. It is offensive, but it's so funny how it's just like they only changed it so that they could put that in the commercials for the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. If the NBA didn't want that song, that song would have yeah. just been called that no, it's forever. Right. Yeah, it, is it, it probably would have gotten did. it probably would have gotten the same amount of radio play too. Oh yeah, back in the day. Well, that's because like con- all conscious rap if you, from like the two thousands has aged so poorly. You'll listen yeah. to like an old most deaf song, and it'll be like George Bush hates those fucking stupid homos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's dropping the f bomb. Yeah, the, fuck. The, the, yeah. yeah, freedom. That's what F-bomb. it used to be. Mm-hmm. The F bomb used to be freedom, and the S bomb, yeah. and the G- the S bomb used to be su- Supreme Court. G O D A M N I T. What? God, that God too. damn it! Mm-hmm. Taking the Lord's name in vain, dude. Yeah, taking the Lord. These these conscious hip hoppers are taking the Lord's name in vain. Uh, oh my God! I'm I'm ready. We got to make a we got to make a conscious hip hop song that's against cursing. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. I'm pro cursing. No, I'm anti. Let's I'm make one that's an, and anti anti uh, women in STEM. <laughs> How about that? Right? What about a bunch of what about a bunch of white I'd like guys? to see a woman in a bath. I never want to see a woman doing math. <laughs> right? Something yeah, like that. that's right. Woman should remain STEM. silent and not work in science. These, that kind of these thing. bitches going to Cornell. <laughs> They gotta go home. They gotta, what? They gotta go home. <laughs> they gotta go home and ring yeah. the dinner bell. Yeah, there we go. This bitch shouldn't be thinking about PEMDAS. She should be thinking about my penis. If mm-hmm. you keep talking to me about the wage gap, I'm gonna do a rage slap. <laughs> No, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's too far. That's right. That's what. No, that's, that's not what I would that's say. That's right what Caleb would say be. in the song that he's recording. Why am I the rapper? You're the one well, who came up with it. I'm the cool black one. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh my! Oh my! It's true. God. What? Oh my God! We're I'm the I'm nasty. the rapper of the group. That's true. Yeah. You're I'm the, I'm more the t- I'm the producer. Yeah, you are. You're you're mm-hmm. Scott Storch, dude. Mm-hmm. You're not the producer. Patrick. I'm making fire you're the hype beats every day. 
No. Yeah, you are. You've you never produced you're the producer? a thing in your life. You're the dyke, You think man. you're the producer? Yeah. You're not the producer. <clears throat> I produce the podcast. Name one. Name one. Beat Scott. battle right now. <laughs> name one beat. We got beat. I made the theme song for the podcast. Patrick. That's one beat right there. All right. Well, I'm writing a new one. <laughs> Beatbox challenge. Cameron, okay. crack, Who's go, camera who goes killer first? versus Patrick pedophile. And no, three, no. two, one, go. It's sent, my my <laughs> rapping name is Sensitive <laughs> Beats. He got some cool alternativo beats. Now That's... Patrick, talk your shit. <laughs> It cuts out. <coughs> I think Cameron wins this one. That's Yo, right. This was a hard fought battle, but I'm gonna have to give it. <coughs> What's that cough? Oh! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Let's do this list, dude. Ah! Oh, I'm good now. I coughed. I choked on my own spit. Yeah, I bet you did, and you liked it. Oh, I, I wish I liked it. I wish it was good. <laughs> Top ten most embarrassing moments. Yeah, Life I just has... had number one just now, and I choked on my own spit. Life while we has an evil way of putting every one of battle. us in an embarrassing situation once in a while. Think about the most embarrassing situation you have ever experienced while voting. Not the imagines and imaginary conceptual, ooh, that would be bad, but more of the, that was the worst of the ones I've experienced. Do they mean vote? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, keep What's going. Wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, no, keep it going. Let's go. Do they mean most ex- embarrassing thing you've experienced while voting? Like, Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's exactly like, what they mean, yeah. While yeah. voting for president? Yeah. Or on the yep. list? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What's yours, Pat? Most ex- embarrassing experience? I think experience? I know exactly what it is. I'm not embarrassed. You're not embarrassed that you voted for Jill Stein? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it is funny. <laughs> Number Dude. one, pants with no underwear. Now, the comments are where it's at on this list. Once in April Fool's Day, my friends planned to do prank with me after school. She said me to wear trousers and come in her home. I was very happy, but when I go there with flowers to give her immediately, some strong boys of my class comes and down my trousers and ran away. I wasn't wearing underwear in front of my friends. So embarrassing. It's all Ow. one sentence. Ow. I hate the strong boys of my class. Oh, my God. The strong boys of my class need to tone it down. My yeah. favorite comment on this one is, <laughs> is this one here that says, Once my neighbor came. She is a small children, but very dangerous. She has a room where girls down boys' pants and see underwear. If anyone don't, she make him walk fully naked from head to toe. She also beat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she beat what? She beat? She also beat. <laughs> All nice, of these. Dude. These are. Wait. Hold on. This it has like one, two, three, four, five, like six fucking things that all that all of these start with once. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. all of these comments start with once. I think the I same feel person like these are wrote all from a the same these. person. Yeah, this guy's been pantsed so many times by the oh strong boys in his class. I hate those guys in my third grade class who are always wearing red speedos and oiling <laughs> each other up with Pam and getting really, really brown. Once I was falling in water, and auntie in school said, you have to undress fully. I forgot to wear underwear, but I have to be naked in front of all of my classmates. Sounds like America to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it has to be in America, right? Once some friends called me in an underwear party, and I forgot to wear underwear, so I was forced to put all of my clothes off and make fun of me off and laugh. I have hate, you guys ever been to an underwear party? <laughs> I hate going to an underwear party. <laughs> oh, man. I hate when you I get the invitation because it's like, I don't really want to go, but I don't want to let my friends yeah. down. Yeah, the, the envelope, soccer team in like, college used to have the craziest underwear parties. It's like a birthday card shaped like a cake, but it's underwear, and you mm-hmm. open it up. And it Captain says, Underpants party. Yeah, yeah, you mm-hmm. are you are cordially invited. You were cordially invited to Captain Underpants' lair. His whoever whoever posted layer. this item in he here has some issues. I'm glad that never happened to me. <clears throat> Once I am wear I- wearing shorts in my school bus and then it's stuck on something and torn, I am not wearing underwear and higher class students are laughing at me. There is a girl who wherever saw me checks my underwear. If I was wearing, then she'd take my pants in her home. And if not wearing, she forced me to be fully naked and ejaculate and take every clothes. <laughs> Even if I was not wearing a pink underwear, then also she gave me that punishment. And if wearing still, she stripped my pants and made me walk the whole town. 
<laughs> yeah, there's definitely one guy on who are here who has a serious fetish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it keeps happening to me. Yeah. <laughs> I keep I keep getting pants by the strong boys at school and then yeah. Auntie take me <laughs> home and auntie. check my underwear. <laughs> And my my strong neighbor make me little boy and wear no pants and she beat. <laughs> Once I was like this, then a bully pulled down my pants in front of my crush and her friend. I felt so embarrassed she was as well as she couldn't walk past me for one month after that. Once I am swimming, my underwear was lost in pool. I have to go without <laughs> underwear in front of whole class. Once I was changing in mall, then the mall owner came and said, you look great without clothes. She forcibly <laughs> taken me to the fashion show and said that see a boy can be fully naked for you, then everyone naked me and forcibly made me walk out the whole colony and embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole colony, dude. That's embarrassing. That really oh is. Oh my god! Once the whole colony. colony sees me naked at the fashion show, dude. Oh once, no! Once it's one of those famous <laughs> naked fashion shows at the mall. <laughs> once oh, in a the beach, whole I colony mall. saw it. <laughs> once in a beach, I am playing with my friend and talking about underwear. I bes- by my I by mistake accidentally pulled his underwear. Then for that, he beats me very much, and then he put off all my clothes and made me naked from head to toe. And then in front of every friend, he showed me naked and everyone laughed at me and i have to say that i am a poor guy and as a third punishment <laughs> is that i am his servant forever and every time comes nake in front of him when he says put off your clothes i have to do it i saying him boss and all his friends and do what they says these are his five punishments <laughs> damn dude this guy's had a rough yeah i wasn't wear underwear for one year once my friend called me after school when there were no teachers or anyone and they locked the classroom i am a new student so they do ranging and force me to down my shirt and pants i am doing this slowly but some strong boys said down your pants there are girls also eight <laughs> girls and four boys so i down my pants and then they said he don't wear underwear i will tell it to everyone if you not dance so i dance for 30 minutes <laughs> Can you imagine this guy's, like, predictive text? Yeah. <laughs> That's how he's writing over them. Over and over again. That's what it sounds like. Fuck, dude. Uh, this guy, I wish this guy had a username. I wish we could, like, look at this he's guy's got account. A, I, I bet he's all over this list. Yeah. There's no way he's not. I bet he has one for number two, having your diaper changed in public. Oh, baby. I, he has to be here, right? Yeah. Yeah. One time I was at SeaWorld and two grandparents were changing their granddaughter outside in public. My grandma even yelled, look at that girl naked. <laughs> your grandma's a freak. <laughs> What's wrong with your grandma? Yeah, you're... <laughs> come on, grandma. Oh, this one's like... <laughs> this one's weird. This one's just like weirdly racist. Asian kids always get their diapers changed in public. I have seen this way too many times growing up, especially in Philadelphia's Chinatown, where I live. (laughs) If I ever was caught having this done to me over the age of three, I'd kill myself, especially if it was on YouTube. When I was in high school, a lady and a baby girl was visiting my homeroom, (laughs) special ed teacher. Later, the lady proceeded to change the girl's diaper on the floor in the classroom in front of the students and the teacher. We all witnessed it. This is not a joke. It 100% happened for real. It reminded me of the scene from the Rugrats episode, Little Dude, where Tommy got his diaper changed in a classroom. (laughs) I don't know. I kind of feel I like, like that they specify like a... special ed teacher saying that they're in a special ed class. It's just yeah. nice to know. I feel like mm. this is a pretty pretty big alpha dog move. Yeah, honestly, to get your diaper changed in public. Just it's like when you you know when you pull your pants all the way down to your ankles to pee at a urinal and you look around yeah. the bathroom to make eye contact with everyone you, so they yeah, don't look you at you. You turn around yeah. and yeah. then you start shitting in the urinal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nobody's think... gonna talk to you, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think this comment here is from our guy. I saw a seven-year-old getting his pant down by his mother to change in public. His pant down. That's his key. That's his key. Well, it didn't start phrase. with once though. But mm-hmm. he did say pant down. I feel like nobody uh, else three, said pant number down. Number three. Number three has number three. He's back. Uh, oh, nice. Walking okay. in on right. your parents having sex. It says. Once, when I was like five or something, I was not getting sleep till around midnight. Suddenly, I heard noises coming from my parents' room. I went to check. My mom was saying nibble continually. (laughs) I opened the door and I saw them doing it. M mom was asking my dad to nibble on her. To this day, I am scared. (laughs) 
fuck? Thank I have to, we have to find this guy's account, dude. Yeah. I, this is so unlucky that he's posting anonymously. Oh, I know. Here, listen to this comment. <laughs> no, I don't want to see my parents nude and having their genitals clashing against each other. <laughs> And that's, that's a comment. Right. That's a comment by the user Swag Flicks. <laughs> swag movies. Swag Flicks. Swag Kino. I did that swag. twice when I was little. <laughs> you, you clashed your genitals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, number if four. If this being... happens to me, I'd be like, no question. What's that mean? <laughs> I have no questions because I know exactly what's going on here. That's like the inverse of no comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah walking, your honor, uh, walking no in question. on your parents and just going, no comment. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, no, no that comment. did not just happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> they have sex now? They have sex now. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> that's Judd Ap- or fucking Joss Whedon that's writing Judd a fucking... Apatow. That's Judd that's Apatow. That's Judd Apatow, Apatow style Joss Whedon and my two parents having sex with their yeah. genitals <laughs> clashing together like symbols. Oh, uh, when... When Judd Apatow's genitals clash against Joss Whedon's and you get... Let and me it, tell you, that's something. Yeah, when you hear it, it sounds like somebody let Lisa one let of those Let me tell you, that's a monkeys. freak versus a geek. Yeah, hey. There we yeah. go. Okay. <laughs> hey. That's right. That is, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, that was good. Um, number four, being caught talking to yourself. I hate it when they hear my plans when I'm... <laughs> then I yeah. get caught talking to myself. When I'm talking to myself, the post office mm-hmm. bathroom. Yeah. One time I was talking to myself and my friend saw it. Damn. Oh my god. That's a scary comment. My mom thinks this is that bringing I have back- men- my mom Sorry. thinks that I have mental problems if I talk to myself. <laughs> this is bringing back some bad memories. Left for Dead 2 Nick. <laughs> it's a quote. They put a quote from Nick from Left for Dead 2 in there. <laughs> I, I've been talking to myself a lot more recently because, yeah. uh, like, especially when I'm out because I have a mask on, so I think nobody, and I always have headphones in, so mm-hmm. I can't hear myself talk to myself, and uh, no, I think nobody else can hear me because they can't see my mouth, but then the other day, the homeless guy who lives out front of my building said, I was, like, I guess talking to myself, like, I, I was, like, talking to myself about, like, a video I'm trying to make, and he just goes, What? <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I'm not I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my phone. No, you don't understand. I'm talking to my br- my own brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't get it. No, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> they tried to they the cops tried to evict that guy the other day. Really? From the bit he lives on a bench out front of my my uh you my can't building. Evict a guy Yeah, he's bench. he's he always is having a meeting with somebody. Mm-hmm. Like a different person every hour comes and sits next to him and talks to him. Jana calls him the mayor. And yesterday, or two oh, we days had ago, we had a mayor in Alston. Two days ago, he he uh, the cops, a <laughs> bunch of cops, tried to that. like. <laughs> we had a mayor in Alston. Yeah, we had a mayor oh, in Alston. Sometimes towns oh, yeah, or cities yeah. could have a mayor that's in charge yeah, of them. Sometimes there's a mayor. <laughs> no, we had a guy similar. We had a guy who uh, let Caleb finish his story, yeah, please. He was getting you don't the, know. the cops kept trying to like move him off the bench, and he's like, "No, I no move." <laughs> You abuse me, stupid dick sucking police officers. He sounds exactly like that. And it's a cool it, voice. They, they spent like thirty minutes just like picking him up off the bench and putting him on the ground. He's like seven feet tall. They can't do anything. Right. And then they Let just gave up. <laughs> they were like, All right, well you have a good one, sir, and just left. <laughs> After just like beating him up for yeah, an hour. It's so weird. Dude, they had a, there was a guy in Austin who like brought all of his shopping carts to the front of this Indian restaurant and would just scream at everybody when they tried to walk in. Maybe he was trying to start a grocery store. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's a good idea. Like yeah. I mean, what, 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 are you, what do you buy first? You buy the building? You buy the grocery? The shopping well, he was carts. calling. He, uh, I, I did get Indian food there once, and he did call one of the employees the N-word, so I don't know if I <laughs> maybe really it was a support term of this guy's grocery store. No. He was no? a white guy. <laughs> nah. Well, maybe he's from, maybe he's like uh, Eminem. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's one yeah, of those maybe, things. Maybe he's just one of those M&M guys. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's one of those M&M guys from the M&M <laughs> store. Maybe that's why he said it. <laughs> yeah. Number five, peeing on yourself. Some people like this. Okay, I was in seventh grade Australia. last year when I was in science class. I have to use the bathroom super badly. I was going to ask the teacher, but the announcement said that the girl's bathroom is off limit till lunch. OMG, I can't believe it. I have to hold it for a couple more hours. My bladder was screaming at me. At the end of English class, I peed myself. Thank goodness no one saw it. When I got home, I changed my pant before my mom noticed it. 
Somebody just says, my mom beat herself once. <laughs> <laughs> this comment I really like. Laughing with a friend and they pee. <laughs> I just imagine that on like a on like a Tumblr aesthetic yeah. image, yeah. yeah, just teenager things. I have been uh, I I shit myself, you know, fairly often. Don't, I you almost should, never. Uh, you pee shit myself. yourself often? Yeah, dude. Once every six months, like clockwork. I don't shit myself. I think you told this. me. You think you definitely talked. Yeah, about Yeah, you this definitely before. talked about that. I it's shit still a surprise a every time. I would say like in the last probably six weeks That's ago. Weird. Uh, no. Probably That's six weird. weeks. Not to me. It's just normal, you know. That's not normal to anyone no, else. It's a modern family. <laughs> you, I, you would think if 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 I was the one who said that I shit myself like once every six months, people would be like, "Oh yeah, you know." People would but think you were because die. it's you. No, no, no. People I mean, don't think I'm gonna die. People I think I'm to gonna have... live forever. <laughs> I think people would <laughs> think you were gonna die if you shat your pants every six months. I mean, I definitely have cancer. <laughs> yeah, you don't have yeah. hair. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a telltale sign. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't been diagnosed with it. Well, I just haven't been to the doctor since I was like 15, but I thought I, I had a I thought I had a mouth tumor the other day, but it was just a ulcer. Just an ulcer? And you thought yeah. it was a tumor? <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, cuz I, I had a headache. Shitting myself is on my on my my notes. I have a note in my phone that's just everything wrong with me. You just tally it? I just every every time I have a new symptom of something it's for one day if I eventually go to the doctor, I'll just be mm-hmm. like, hey, you're going to want to sit down for this. <laughs> and I'll read him off every symptom that I have. Oh, I did that with the dentist when I when I went when I was uh, 17. <laughs> this I, tooth I, is I dirty. Listed, this tooth is dirty. This tooth I is dirty. I listed all the teeth that I had a cavity in. <laughs> I don't brush my teeth. <laughs> I didn't. I still don't, dude. I, I, I brush my teeth yeah. probably once once a day, once every two days. It's Dude, it, it sucks. They should just make a pill that brushes just your teeth pill, for you. Just, so fucking, true. just mm-hmm. fucking make a pill that does it for you, dude. Yeah. yeah. They should make a pill that's like a nuke for plaque in your mouth. It should be, yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, like Absolutely. some kind of acid or poison that just melts or, it off your teeth. Or it should like be a like a small type of acid. I think if I, have, if I ever have kids, it'll be one of their, one of their chores. Yeah, it's brushing they have your to teeth. Brush my teeth. <laughs> yeah. While should get, I play video should, games, specifically for that, you should get like a tooth tunes or something like a Juice World tooth. No, tunes. I want it to be as as <laughs> just yeah, Caleb fun with for Juice them as World possible. Tooth tunes, trying to finally because <laughs> the thing about the tooth tunes is you got to like press it up against your teeth so that it makes would work the sound. For me, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think if your kid if I has had to a, press up. It's no, if I had a Juice World tooth tunes, whatever. I would badger probably one of his songs. Yeah. Yeah. Lucid Dreams. Yeah. Evil That's House. Scariest song of all <laughs> yeah. time by Juice World. If I had a High if I had a crazy. If I had yeah. a, a a Tupac and the Outlaws hit him up tooth tunes, I would mm-hmm. probably, probably I had to kiss tooth teeth. tunes when I was uh, 10. You had to kiss tooth tunes? Yeah. Yeah. I had to kiss Heim Witz. That's Gene Simmons' real name. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't want to know that. <laughs> Why are you grossed out by his name? What's nah, gross about it? It's just the sound. <laughs> okay. Just didn't like the sound. Um, okay. But yeah, kids okay. should brush their parents' teeth. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be like doing the dishes. It's like a respect yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. In yeah, some I cultures, bet they do, they do I bet it. they do that in China. They yeah. do that in I Italy. bet they do that in China. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they do. I don't think they do it in China. I think they do. Jerry because Seinfeld I've, thinks sorry, they do that in China. Sorry, have you China? Yeah, I have. In China, they, the kids brush their parents' teeth. It just makes <laughs> sense. What's that? <laughs> he saw that scene yeah, on yeah. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld just making up shit about China. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard they in joined China, the army at age three. In China, the vaginas are sideways. It just makes more sense. <laughs> it's just how it should be. It just makes sense to me. Look, everything in China says made in USA. What's the deal with that? I'm thinking I'll become a Chinese. <laughs> I'm thinking of converting. I'm going to get a new surgery. <laughs> I'm going to get an experimental surgery <laughs> to make me Chinese. I don't I th- think Jerry Seinfeld would ever go to China. I, I feel think, like well, I don't think I think he'd be, he'd be so rich. It, it yeah. makes perfect sense for him to go to China. That's true. He could drive on the Autobahn there. He could drive on the China Bond. <laughs> the China Bond. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
China <laughs> Bond. China <laughs> Bond. <laughs> yeah, you picked that up at the airport. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's another that's another business idea I got now. China Bond. <laughs> China Bond. Jerry Seinfeld's it's, Chinese restaurant. Jerry, yeah. it's a Jerry Seinfeld owned Cinnabon. That all, it's like a yeah, Cinnabon. My, bu- my business up, idea is for something that's owned by Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I would get love a, it. a Jerry Seinfeld Chinese restaurant, and you're like, hey, sorry, can I can I have chopsticks? And he's just like, chopsticks? What do you want chopsticks for? <laughs> you, have a, you have a hand, you have a mouth, he's a fork. What the hell's wrong uh, with you? It just makes sense. It just makes sense. It's a, si- it's a Cinnabon. Are you a caveman? You want to eat off a stone? <laughs> How are you going to eat your si- soup? <laughs> It's a cinnamon. It's a cinnamon roll. Want, uh, Rangoon. Whoa, that's, that's a pretty. That's good idea. China Bon. That's Jerry yeah. Seinfeld's China Bon. China Bon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. You got I me. Think, I, I think I want you guys to go fifty percent on this with me. I'll go hundred percent because I'm stealing that idea. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not. No. I'll tell you what. I'll give you zero dollars for a hundred percent of your idea right now because I'm stealing it. Hmm. And Patrick, you, after you open up the Jerry Seinfeld's China Bun, you can open up a spin-off restaurant that's Michael Richards Soul Food. <laughs> <laughs> it's open mic night at Michael Richards Soul Food <laughs> at Michael Richards Hunt Country Cooking. <laughs> He's hosting. <laughs> That's how he tries to make up for it. Yeah. I'm trying to give back to the community. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jerry, I'm moving to Baton Rouge. <laughs> uh, that's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Number six, caught stealing. Once you are in trouble, uh, then you are in big trouble. I never got <laughs> caught stealing, although I did only steal one thing in my uh, life. I stole Pokemon cards all the yeah, time. Yeah, I stole Magic the Gathering cards when I was uh, in I stole high, a cigar with my friend. What the fuck? <laughs> How do you even get to lookout. where cigars are? We, uh, you we were the walked. lookout, then you didn't steal it. You abetted. I was a, an accomplice. <laughs> I smoked the cigar, so... I just used to steal now stuff you don't know out, what of, to think. out of kids' houses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like I never stole kids. things. I would leave things at people's houses. That's that's, that's ingenious. That's, 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 that's you're like an Santa ingenious. Claus. No, like yeah. like like I would like put like I would bring like framed pictures and put them in their stuff. I would steal. Uh, I would always steal like headphones. Like, oh yeah, that's headphones. not bad. Yeah, I just thought it was funny to. Oh. Or like a jacket, maybe. A jacket? You can't steal a jacket. I feel like a jacket's too far. Yeah, unless no, it's like somebody has you, a lot of jackets. They'll see you wearing it. Yeah. Well, I, you don't wear it. You put it in your backpack. Well, then, what what are you going to do with it? I'm going to put the jacket on my I legs. It, <clears throat> I'm going to put it on it my look like I'm a little guy. I'm going to put it on my beautician dummy. <laughs> Dress it up. Is that so wrong? I'm going to make it look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Come on. Uh, number seven, calling your teacher mommy. Yeah, I do that. Top you comment, do? especially if the I teacher do that to is a all guy. teachers. Yeah, I do that to all <laughs> teachers, regardless of gender. Yeah. Hey, um, mommy, question for the test. Hey, uh, mommy, what do you think that um, Hegel's dialectical uh... Hegel <laughs> Hegel Hegel? Hegel. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about a different guy. Oh, okay. I'm, t- I'm talking yeah. about a PBS show. You're talking, yeah, about, I'm talking about Hegel. You're talking about guy... ho- you're thinking of Hoggle from Labyrinth. Oh, that's of, who I'm thinking, thinking of. Thinking of Heckler, the documentary. Yeah. Mm. Heckle. Yeah, I'm thinking about Heckle. the dialectical praxis and Imagine a, a German yeah. guy named Hey, Heckle. Mommy, I couldn't help but notice we only have very few indigenous authors on this reading list, <laughs> and I was wondering. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mommy, uh, it, it, am I supposed to present today? Uh, that'll throw them off. I feel like that's yeah. a good... So you record, you re- record yourself doing that, and this is the Patrick Challenge. You record yeah. yourself telling your teacher. Say, say, mommy, is, that, well, mommy? is this, ma- hey, mommy, is this going to be graded on a curve? Or call, <laughs> hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. 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 Hey, mama. Mummy. 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 Mom. Do do the Stewie Griffin challenge mom. and say mommy. and say mum mummy to your to, to your teacher. Yeah, it'll work, dude. 
I, my mom, head hey, hurts. Uh, mom, can I have detention? <laughs> <laughs> can you give me some detention? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. ma. Yeah, hey, ma. mommy. Ma. Ma. I called my hold on. I called my best friend mom on accident. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> maybe his name was maybe his name was man was uh, man man yeah. Oh okay. Maybe it was, to maybe maybe it was Jason up, mom Jason Momoa. <laughs> this is my best <laughs> friend Darlene, who's also my mother. <laughs> I'm not scared. Best to call friend my is his mother. Mom. Hey, you guys are kind of. I'll just start calling you mom. Is that embarrassing? No, no. that's normal, right, moms? Mm-hmm. It's fine. How many of us? How many moms? There are three of How us, Patrick. Moms? You were so I dumb. I can't see. <laughs> Number eight, laughing so hard milk squirts out of your nose. That's not embarrassing. That's just uh That's a trick. That's just having fun with your friend. That's a that's a that's yeah. a magic trick. Exactly. Top Ugh. comment agrees. How is this embarrassing? It's just funny but weird. Can't believe this is number five. It's actually number Sorry. eight, so you sure mm-hmm. have egg on your face now, pal. And milk. You know David Blaine can squirt a gallon of milk out of his nose when he laughs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm serious. It's true. Yeah. I believe you. He can do yeah. anything, dude. Yeah. He mm-hmm. takes it to the extreme. David Blaine can sneeze four times in a row. To the he extreme. can eat five cheeseburgers in two minutes. <laughs> David mm-hmm. Blaine can run a, a two-minute mile. That's one of his magic tricks. That's right. He's faster than Usain <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> yeah. Number nine, caught listening to Justin Bieber songs. Luckily for me, I listen to music by other artists. That's from user Saturated <laughs> Sunrise. Like who? No. Yeah, I don't think you do. If you can't name like, another artist, I don't like think so. Like Sticks. <laughs> I only listen to Sticks. <laughs> you don't like Sticks. I don't. Yeah, I listen to the All Man Brothers Band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, this Those number 10 is men. the one I've been waiting to get to this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> Number this 10 one? is, is <laughs> nude on stage during nursery play. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? If that happened, I would fall down, my head would spin 180 degrees, then my tongue would turn upside down and pop out of my eyes, then I would turn bald, and all my hair would turn to liquid and come out of my pores, then I would have no hair anywhere in my body, then my legs would do a splits, and my upper torso would rip out of the bottom, and then, the worst part is coming up, I would turn into Justin Bieber. (laughs) (laughs) At Smooth Criminal, did this actually happen to you? Would you guys ever do like like a naked... On stage, naked no. show? No. no, probably not. No one, no one is going to see my penis. I got asked to do the improv boss one. I, I gave him a hard N.O. Yeah, he I mean, yeah, gave it's him like a hard N. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Why did you do that? No, no. Yeah, I mean, no, the thing I, is, I, like, a lot of people do that shit though. I don't understand. Yeah, it it's at like all. Why, it's not even like it's going to be a good show. It's not even like yeah. it's like oh this oh this is the thing that's going to make my career. I guess I. I would I, just be. I would just be confused on like how hard do I get? Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> if you get hard, is that okay? If I get hard, like, is can, that does, do they have to have sex with me? <laughs> do they all hold me down and have sex they with me? They fucking hold me down and suck my dick and fuck my balls. <laughs> do they fuck me in my they, balls? Wait, if they see what? my balls, they have to fuck my balls. Do they what have to hold onto my balls and run across the room? What if I room? accidentally dip my beer in my balls? Yeah. What, what if I spill water on my balls and I have to run around the room to get them dry? <laughs> <laughs> what if I have to run around the room so fast to get my balls dry? I accidentally <laughs> oh, I go forward oh, in time. Oh, no. What if they start throwing Skittles at me and I got to windmill my penis to wait to whack them off? What if what they if throw a Skittle at me and it goes into my pee hole and I have to go to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if I have to do a naked stand-up show at the hospital for all the patients? What if I sit down I on the stool, but my, my it, the whole stool goes inside my ass? <laughs> what if my microphone gets stuck in my balls? Yeah, what well, if the what little if like the little more? antenna at the end of the microphone gets yeah. in my pee-pee? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, there's a lot of like. Okay, so that would be a horrible place for that. What once if my every balls turn into skittles at the open mic? <laughs> what if I? What if I accidentally summon an evil genie? What if my wiener turns get... into hamburger meat? <laughs> oh no! What if they have a meat grinder on the stage my, and my asshole my, falls in the meat grinder? What if on my the penis stage? comes off of my body and flies around the room like an RC plane, <laughs> and people are reaching at it and trying to grab it, and then oh, a really no. sexy lady grabs it and it squirts? everywhere oh no my penis turned into the golden snitch 
<laughs> so in short, Improv Boston. Mm. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to skip ahead. <laughs> We can number, skip ahead if you really need number to. Number 12 is just parents making love. <laughs> it's one thing to walk in <laughs> on your parents having sex. It's another thing just for your parents to make love entirely. Yeah. <laughs> There's a comment on here that says, it's actually very cute, isn't uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, my God. What are you? Oh, uh, my bad. I thought you guys were fucking. You two are making love. This is very cute. <laughs> it's very this cute. is cute of this you This is adorable. Do. Anyway, could you heat up some milk for me? <laughs> I'm really tired, but I can't fall I'm asleep. I'm really tired, but you know I can't oh, fall asleep. I, am, I have a stomach ache from looking at this. Can you go make me some milk? There was a time in high school when I was like, every night I'm going to have a warm glass of milk to go to sleep, and I hated it. It's but so I did it psycho, dude. It's so it disgusting. It's horrible. Mm-hmm. I would heat it up in the microwave. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did that once. Ugh. Dude, I don't it, get it. I've like never. A, my younger like sibling would do that all the time. The, it's so disgusting. It's terrifying. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> milk was I'm milk. The bad if yuns. milk was meant to be hot, it would come out of a fucking cow piping hot. Mm-hmm. That's right. And it would stay yep. hot. It would never it would cool down. <laughs> it would never cool off. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's what a hot toddy is. I think. That's no. That's a hot tata. Hey, no, I hey, think I, uh, I, hey. I think you're I think you're being inappropriate right I'm now. I'm not, dude. I think you're being inappropriate a little bit. Did you guys come come out cold or hot? <laughs> hot, <laughs> hot though, like freezing Ow! cold. <laughs> no, it's like lukewarm. Icy it's not cold. like <laughs> one degree. Above I feel freezing. like I feel I feel like it's like uh, when you throw uh, boiling water. In a on a like a freezing day and on, it, like, a, on turns your girlfriend's into ice. back, <laughs> yeah, and it turns into ice. I feel like that's uh, it's like that, but for room temperature. I don't know. I'm, I'm like as soon as it as soon as it leaves your as soon as it leaves your pee hole, it turns into like it's like the temperature of spit. I yeah. wish that it would spit. I think do I have cold spit? Hold on. Ah. Oh. I can't waste it. <laughs> Come on. What do you mean you can't waste it? You only have Caleb, so much spit yeah, in Caleb your life. It's like heartbeats. A finite amount of spit. Yeah. Come on. You don't want to I waste have a lot of spit. Can I have some? Can we get a spit transplant from okay. you? <laughs> okay. Um, number thirteen. Farting in public. Not <clears> embarrassing. <throat> Not embarrassing, dude. That's mm. uh. Someone who's boss. Once you're a master at holding farts in, you can go into a corner and let the storm <laughs> rage on. I hate Frozen, by the way. I know this is stereotyping, but it's just a meme. How boys fart. Let the storm rage on. How girls fart. Conceal. Don't feel. Don't let them know. So true. That's boys so true. Boys fart like this. Girls fart like that. Yeah. You can yeah. get with this, so you can get with that. Mm-hmm. I think I'll go with this because this is where it's at. I love. Wait, that I want to skip ahead to. I want to skip ahead to. I love those to... crazy hamsters <laughs> and their Kia. I want to skip ahead to number sixteen, caught masturbating, and I want to uh. read this comment that says, "I always ba- masturbate in the bathroom with the door locked or in the dead of night in bed." <laughs> <laughs> caught watching board number seventeen night. has a little the script here. Night. If you guys want to read it, <clears throat> yeah, all right, let's oh, yeah. do it. Who, Caught watching right. porn. Well, well. Right, who's going to be the mom? You're Stop the mom, Pat. Me, okay, I Caleb's mean, uh, mom. me. What are you looking at? Wait, okay, who's me? You. Okay, then you re- have to read the note at the end, all <laughs> right? This is serious. Okay. Who's okay. on first? <laughs> what are you looking at? Mom. Wait, there's a you're girlfriend. You're looking at mom? <laughs> you're, you're the girlfriend, Pat. No, Cameron's the girlfriend. I'm me. No, he's he's me. I'm the. I read. Okay. There's wait. There's four parts in this script. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll be mom because mom only has one line, and then I'll also be the note at the end. Okay, and then okay. I'll be me, okay. and then Patrick will be the girlfriend and the friends. All right, let's okay. do this. Now I feel we've done so much. I feel like we need like intro music now. Yeah. yeah. Is that candy show? What are the you po- looking at, <laughs> mom? Tom, what are you looking at? Other girls? Uh, no. Ha ha ha! Wow, you're a girl of year. <laughs> no, I don't. Now leave me alone. Yes, that would be embarrassing. Note, Tom is not my real name. I'm Darren, and I'm making a cartoon of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Darren, I'm 
making a cartoon of it. Yeah, I'm just I'm making a cartoon yeah, of it. I'm that. making a cartoon of it. <laughs> yeah. The podcast about list players present Caught While Watching Porn by Darren. <laughs> Darren's cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pat, just a little note. I feel like you could have maybe given a girl voice. Yeah, do two different voices. Let's run this again. Okay. Right, make okay. some different right, character choices. Okay. What are you looking at? Mom. Stop it! Oh, uh, no. Ha <laughs> ha Wow, you're a girl, love you. No, I don't. Now leave me alone. Yes, that would be embarrassing. Note, Tom is not my real name. I'm Darren, and I'm making a cartoon of it. <laughs> I think that was good. I think that was, that was really, really good. good. I think yeah. we could sell that for money. We could well, sell Darren's cartoon for money. Darren doesn't fucking find out. Yeah. I think we could option Darren's uh, script off. Darren, to... if you're listening right now, we would love to <coughs> to work with you on we this production of Call yeah, While Watching dude. Porn. Darren, we want to we want to we, we want to pick your brain for a little bit and uh, see if we can expand upon your short here, your short cartoon. Your short. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. How would you like being embarrassed and getting punished too? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't he... like that. That's not convincing. It sounds like you might yeah. actually really enjoy that. I wouldn't that. like it at all. You, you want to get punished and I wouldn't like it at all. You want to oh get my punished. God. You want to spill, I wouldn't like it. You want to spill Kevin's chili like and then you want to get spanked. I don't like I wouldn't like it. You would. I at think all. you would like that. I wouldn't. Number Stop 21. When you number say 21. It. I wouldn't like it. Number 21. Opposite sex public I restroom. <sighs> Sorry, this is the opposite sex public restroom. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here to have sex. Oh, I think he's back. Not in here. One time, I had a dream where I went to the boys' bathroom, and even my unrealistic second grade dream was horrible. On an unrelated note, I sing in public bathrooms until someone comes in. Then I stop and hope they didn't hear me. <laughs> it's not them. I'm female. I was yep. in Chinatown once during a banquet, <laughs> and I had to use the restroom. So I went, and I saw the ladies' restroom was constantly closed, and when I knocked, no one responded, and the door was locked, so I went into the men's restroom instead. What, how do you crime. guys feel about, you know when moms, or you know when, when moms or dads, or dads or moms, or something else, bring their kid into, bring the, bathroom their kid into the wrong bathroom? What nope. the hell, man? I was under nope. impression right impression. They gotta have, they gotta no have a, kid's, a kid's bathroom. Mm-hmm. Where only the kids go. And that also, that, it's ingenious. That mm-hmm. is ingenious. Well, that's where they have a, the family restroom. Yeah. yeah. Which I would, I would use because it's a more comfortable shitting situation. Yeah, because you're, you're a family. Because, yeah, yeah. Family this happened, oh, this, wait, wait, wait. This Hold happened on. to my friend who went into a girl's bathroom, and bike cops just happened to be riding by and wrote him a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I found number 33. He's back. Oh, my God. Ready? This is number 33, when your crush rejects you. Comment here. Once my crush rejects me and made me naked head-to-toe in public, I have to become naked head-to-toe in public. (laughs) Then she called me in her room and she beats me and said that I will do this daily. Once me and my friends are walking, my old crush came and said, strip all of your clothes with an hunter on her hand and said to my friend, you too, she said, come in my van and then be naked. I will take you to my home. I said, okay. And the I do that. Then she removes me from her van and said, come to my house to take your clothes. And I went there and she slapped me and rejected me. Wow. This guy's had the like, worst life ever. This is like, yeah, this is like now scarred. This is yeah. just like, <laughs> just over and over again. Just insanely <clears throat> gr- amazing stories. Yeah. Uh, like, imagine, um, imagine like just being that guy and just being like waking up in the morning and being like, oh man, I hope strong boys don't strip my pants down today <laughs> and slap me, reject me. <laughs> and does oh, every single day a new... W- walk a, in front of the colony, yeah, dude. A new <laughs> neighbor beats you in front of the whole colony <laughs> every single yeah. day. Just waking and then up you like, go on top oh, tens to please. vent and yeah. everybody just laughs and thinks you're making mm-hmm. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't. You believe this guy. We need to rescue him. Yeah. Yeah, we need to save him. If anybody him. has any information on who this guy is... <laughs> Number, need to save you. Number 34, people seeing a black spot on your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that that's just the blight on the my black, underwear. Yeah. The black spot. Sorry, that's the beginning of evil. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> number 54 <sighs> is nude in front of your boyfriend, and the only comment is, hey, I'm a boy, so put nude in front of your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Number 47, when you can't hold your poop anymore and excrete it publicly. <laughs> 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 Number 57, being ass kicked by your teacher. That is really true. <laughs> Number 63, failing at trolling. So true. Once I put a bucket of paint balanced on the door for my annoying big sister, and I made sure that I do not enter the room, but while I was going to the toilet, I forgot about what I said and went inside, <laughs> only for my bucket to splash all over me. By the way, it was blue paint, if you were wondering, and worst of all, my sister came two seconds later and said, Mom, I found a Smurf in the living room, and all my family came to see me covered in blue paint. So embarrassing. That's still a pretty, oh good, pretty good troll. Convince yeah, your... You, convince your you told your you're family that trolls were real, or Smurfs were real, yeah. Yeah, a Smurf is a kind of troll. Uh-huh. Uh, 64, throwing up on your own birthday. Yeah. I did this year on my birthday for some reason, and in 2014 I did. Trains oh, 45. Trains. <laughs> we, we, I think Trains is on the last episode. Number 65, goes to school with no <laughs> underwear on and your crush sees your bum. <laughs> this I think is, they this might is like something. that. Yeah, Tom Green would like that. Yeah, yeah fucking freak. Yeah, my You'd grandparents told me it. to have a good day at school, and I said you too. <gasps> wow, number seventy, wiping your butt and getting poop on your hand. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like that's not embarrassing because n- nobody else sees it, right? Right. Yeah, no. That, I mean, it's embarrassing to myself when I do that. I guess. <laughs> number seventy-seven, trying to get an autistic kid to try to to, to stop taking your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever <laughs> added this is sick. So disrespectful. I'm autistic, I'm autistic and I, and I, I only <laughs> steal, your, steal your things if you say stuff like this to me uh, from I yeah. hate school. Get that. Get that, dude. Number 78, the infamous awkward silence. Oh, my God. Especially I after that it. magpie hit the window in the middle of a Naplan test and now everyone is staring. <laughs> Wait, 83, thinking about something gross and gagging in front of your crush. <laughs> Baby, I'm having an amazing night tonight, really. I mean, yeah. this has been... <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, I, I just thought of a poop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a dog I thought asshole. about throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I did... I, I... That is such a funny thought to me, is like having sex and being like, hey, can we stop? I just thought of a poop. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagined a poop. and now Number 90, stop. you order a triple-decker cheeseburger with bacon, and when it arrives, you get a little too excited. <laughs> That's a just like somebody like seeing a burger and just going like, oh, <laughs> oh my, oh heavens! Number ninety two, being caught masturbating by twenty plus people. Oh, this is a long comment here. Do you happen to be a Japanese schoolgirl on a train with a bunch of cameras around? Uh, let's not read this comment. This guy is too too much. I just oh my god! It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's no good. If you want to read it, you go look for it yourself because that's you just borderline freak. fan fiction. Ninety six. The person that you have a crush on being revealed at the worst possible moment. Oh my god! <laughs> number ninety. <laughs> number ninety eight. Erection in swimming class. <laughs> <laughs> number one hundred one. I feel like this is a good one to end on. Parents, check your browsing history. Only comment. Looking at my search history on Safari. I'm a bad kid, parentheses. It is a parody I made. <laughs> what is it a parody of? <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm parodying something. Yeah, I made, no, a parody. I'm doing a parody. I made a parody of what search history should look like. I needed that on there for a parody, thank you. Yeah. yeah oh. I'm making a parody where I have sex, so I needed to watch all this porn. Doing research. Doing research to make my parody of I'm on a boat called I'm fucking an ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm parodying this video. Fucking a butt. Cute, cute girl fucks red panda. This yeah. is part of my parody. Video. Oh yeah, that's a that's a video Caleb watched. As I've a never kid. seen that. Um, all right, all right thanks all right. everybody. Just, uh, subscribe to the, check go out the sleep. Patreon. Subscribe to I'm the yeah. Patreon. Watch our. T- we have. I don't know if we've ever mentioned that we have Twitch. A Twitch stream on the show. Oh yeah, we I'm have sure Twitch. People know. Yeah, we have Twitch. If you if you like the show, you like the stuff. Um, so true. Mm-hmm. What else? I mean, just just t-shirts, have fun. T-shirts, our YouTube channel, have fun. Yeah, have YouTube fun channel. We just Fuck hey, we hit shit. we hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube today. This is one of the best days of my entire uh-huh. life. Yeah, yeah, this is huge. I knew I um, knew I had to power through uh, sleep deprivation to be here. You had to. Uh-huh, All right, because I had to talk about our YouTube that All right. we don't Bye, ever everybody. really use. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. y'all. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> 
Oh, shit. 